I'm Ben, and this is Conequip 101. What we're gonna talk about today, engines and long blocks. We get a lot of calls because people uh, have some engine issues, and I wanna talk about some of the differences between complete engines versus a long block. When you should get which one? So let's kind of go through some of those things real quick to help you make the right decision. We got a complete engine. This is what you have in your vehicle, truck, machine, excavator, dozer, whatever. This is what you got. You got a complete in there that doesn't run as nice as this new cat one. So you can buy one of these that comes complete. Fuel's on there, exhaust is on there, electrical's on there, manifolds, sensors, wiring harnesses is all on there. Let's look over to long blocks for a second. Not so much, right? Kind of a little bit lacking. So we don't have exhaust on it. There's no fuel, there's no electrical. So typical long block would include your block, cylinder head, typically loaded, valve, springs, all that stuff. So loaded cylinder head, your block, crankshaft, camshaft, the connecting rods, pistons, all that stuff is all in there, all brand new parts uh, ready to go. That's typically in a long block. So how do you decide which one should you go with? Obviously a complete engine is a lot more money, but the labor side of it, eh, you might be able to save in there. So if your mechanical ability or if the availability for a mechanic is not so great, maybe this is the way to go. Maybe you and a couple buddies can manage getting a complete drop in engine going. If you've got a great mechanic in your shop or you got a buddy down the road that's a great mechanic and can finish the transfer of components from your kind of used slash core engine onto a long block, then you might be in better shape. So what are some of the things that you should expect if you buy a long block of what you have to transfer over? One would be electrical. We got alternator, starter, electrical wiring, and so forth like that. All that stuff has to come over. Turbo, all your exhaust stuff is gonna have to end up coming over. Uh, some have wastegates on them and things like that. A lot of moving components inside of this. You need to consider it, and we'll come back to that in a second. Fuel would be the big third thing that also is not on a long block that you would have to end up bringing over and transfer onto your long block. So all these extra components that we just talked about, electrical, exhaust, turbo, and so forth, and fuel, we need to consider. How good is yours? That's gonna be the biggest question. You've got a rebuilt long block with all rebuilt components on it. You're gonna have brand new gaskets and everything to put on there. But what about all the used stuff that you're transferring over? What about those? You know, it's kind of like uh, you take a shower and you put dirty clothes back on. I mean, some of this stuff just doesn't make sense. And you need to decide if it makes sense. I've had this turbo on here, you know, with this truck that's got 500,000 miles on it. Yeah, it might be time to also get a long block with a reman turbo, okay? We can do that. Same thing with fuel. What's the performance like now on the fuel side? Your fuel pump has many, many hours on it. The injectors, okay, they're probably functioning at maybe 80% and not very efficient. So think about the fuel. You know, we don't wanna take a, a, a bad, crappy fuel system and put it on our nice rebuilt long block and stuff. It doesn't make sense all the time. It's like you take a shower and then you take a dump. I, it just, you know, some things just don't make sense. Don't put crap in it, okay? Electrical, kind of easy to do. Some Probably some of the least expensive component parts of it. So you just gotta decide, do I have the capability of transferring all this stuff over here, set the timing right and do everything like that? And are my components good enough to be put on this reman lovely long block? That's up to you to decide. A lot of decisions in life. Sometimes it's easier just to hire somebody to put a whole complete engine in and drop it in. But it's your call and we're happy to help you out. Either way, we've got all the extra reman or new aftermarket components available to go onto your long block if that's the way you wanna go. Love it. Any questions, give us a call at Conequip Parts. I'm Ben, this is Conequip 101. Thank you.